Hi y'all, welcome to my shop. Uh, I've always been a big proponent of the of the woodworm screw. Got a couple of videos on my channel on it. But, uh, after watching a number of Richard Raffin uh, Richard Raffin's videos on using a screw chuck, uh, I decided I'd go ahead and make a, a big one. Now I've I'm a big believer in small screw chucks. Uh, you know, I was doing some research for this and I looked in American Wood Turner. The two references I had for for screw chucks on how to make them were both my articles, one on turning knobs and one on turning chest pieces. But they were small, small screw chucks. So I'm going to turn a big one today that'd be suitable for uh, cross grain uh, bowl and platter type of work. So I found a suitable piece of uh, hardwood. This is three quarter inch uh, oak. I think this will work out just fine. So I'm going to rough turn a circle on here. So I'm going to mount this thing using a faceplate. I had a fair uh, or a faceplate ring. I had a spare one so it's going to work out just fine. It uses a number uh, number 10 uh, screw to mount with and I had some of those on hand. Uh, so I could use it, and I'm just going to mark mark these holes using my birdcage all. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and drill. I probably ought to mark how deep to drill, but uh, frankly, I'm not sure it's gonna make a lot of difference if I have a through hole. So these screws don't go all the way through. But I think I will. I don't want to. I don't want to surface those. Yeah, I don't care <laughs> whether it's got holes all the way through it or not. So we'll just. It helps to have it on the right torque. I had it on the screwdriver torque, and now I've got it on the drill torque. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and put the rings on here. Let me get uh, change this out. Okay. Now I can go ahead and mount this on on the chuck in order to drill the hole. Uh, I'm going to use a quarter inch uh, lag bolt. Uh, this is an inch and inch and a half, and this is going to work out just just great. Okay, so I mount mount this on here, and I'm going to route true true up the edges just so it'll it'll look nice. And I'll just come in from each side using a, a little three eighths inch bowl gouge. Now, because this this bowl has got a little bit of uh, not it's not quarter sawn, it's got a little bit a bit of a grain to it. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scrape it because it, it, it's not not 100 flat, and I do want it to be 100 flat. So I'm going to use a somewhat domed uh, square end uh, scraper, and let me see exactly where that. Uh, Bowed in or bowed out, it's it's bowed up in the middle, just a tiny little bit. And that resolves that issue. Okay, next I'm going to drill. Uh, I think I want to round over these edges just the tiniest little bit. I'll just use a what's available 3 8 inch spindle gouge and work just fine. Just a, so I don't have a sharp edge, and I'll just do the same thing on the back side. 
of the scraping cap. Okay. Now I'm going to drill a hole in the middle. Um, I'm going to use a starter bit so when I go to use the right size uh, screw, uh, right size drill bit for that screw, I don't get any wandering. So I'm going to go ahead and use this little starter set. Used mostly for metal work, but it really helps to when you really want a true center because it's very stiff. It doesn't doesn't wander, doesn't vibrate, doesn't flex. There we go. All right, next. I'm going to use what appears to me at the right size is a 964 using the uh, gauge for the screws so it, it'll bite in pretty well. <coughs> so let's just ease that in. Slow the speed down, no more than about a thousand. And just slowly let it make sure it's finding that center. Ease it in. Through. Okay, I put a few drops of thin CA in here just to because uh, I think maybe I got the wrong size uh, hole drill, so we, we'll hope for the best. So we're going to use a, a nut driver. Okay, looks like it's registered. Now, because there's going to be a lot of uh, stress on this. I've had problems with screw chucks, even small screw chucks. So I took a little piece of uh, strap metal, uh, oh, maybe a sixteenth inch thick, and it already had holes drilled in it. And I just filed out a little slot that'll help reinforce, reinforce this when I put a couple of little reinforcing screws in there to hold it. So I drilled a couple of holes for this reinforcing strap. It now fits in there because I had to go back and grind off a little bit of the corner. So I'm going to use these small little screws to mount this thing with. And I think I'll probably just uh, Put a few drops of CA glue around it. Not that it probably that won't make any difference, but I'm just going to do it anyway. This little reinforcing uh, strap might be overkill, but on the other hand, it's not going to come loose. Let it cure. All right, I'm going to try out my first uh, this screw chuck on my first. Uh, good size bowl and we're going to turn the speed down to a slow speed <laughs> okay that was less than 200 but that just about secured it let's get it a little bit tighter okay I think that's nice and tight we're going to go ahead and do the bottom. Let's bring up tailstock support. <laughs> 